Hey there, friend, and welcome back. My name is Sarah Rusk, and I have a bit of a powerful episode for you today. I am inspired by the recent videos that Kyle Cease has put out. He put out a video last week, last Sunday, Monday, um, his Me Too video, which I thought was empowering in the sense of being able to speak up and share your side of an event that happened despite what people have been saying about you. And I know, and I can relate, because I've been there <laughs> many, many times, not nearly to the caliber and the scale that he had it on. However, his video has given me permission to be okay with that and to heal that. And bear with me, because on his Absolutely Everything Pass, on Wednesday, his call, which I'm sure he's going to put a snippet out, which I thought was one of the best, if not the best call that I've ever heard, because it spoke to so many things. He was talking about forgiveness and how he thought that he needed to be forgiven and or give forgiveness when that's not the case. It was just permission to be okay with forgiving. And it was that whole part on permission. What do you have inside of your body that you need permission to heal? Is it something with somebody else? Is it permission to heal, you know, a condition or a disease that you have? Is it permission to allow a pattern or a thought that keeps popping up or something that you weren't able to do with your life that you have resentment about? Could it be something with a friend, a business partner, an actual, you know, relationship with your, your, you know, spouse? Is there something that you've been holding on to and you haven't been able to say or to get out because you were angry, sad, scared, upset? And with this video, I want you to know that you have permission to feel whatever it is that you're feeling in your body. And it's okay for it to be there. And allowing it to be there doesn't mean that it's going to stay. It just means that it can finally be seen. It's that little child that's been trying to get your attention for years when you have that kick in the gut feeling when you have that stomach punch feeling when you have that that feeling around your throat like you're about to just start sobbing hysterically over nothing that is that emotion that event that inner child trying to get your attention to say hey i need to be seen and one of the worst things that anybody can do which i've done for most of my life is to shove it down and say please be quiet or just shut up I don't want to deal with you right now. And the more you're able to see it, accept it, allow it to be there, the faster you will be able to transcend it and then watch as your life shifts and things open up. Even better things will start to come your way better than you ever could have imagined. All just because you were able to free yourself and give yourself the permission to feel you know, if I go through something with somebody, if they're mad at me or whatnot, the only person that I can control is myself and the way in which I handle the situation. And someone like me who is a student of miracles and someone who wishes to be high up on the David Hawkins scale, I'm currently stuck in the reason part of the scale. Power vs. Force is a really good book. And I'm stuck in like the 400, 500 range when it comes to the, the scale of enlightenment or something like that. Enlightenment's like eight, 800 to 1,000. I'm stuck in the 400 range because I keep trying to add logic onto everything. But we are beings who can manipulate and play with energy. Manipulate probably isn't the best word to use, but we can use this energy to create through getting to know ourselves, through expanding our energetic field through meditation or just sitting quietly within ourselves. If you're not a fan of meditation and you don't want to sit, go out for a walk and talk with that inner child. Make peace with that inner child. Allow them to come out and emote. You know, if you need to like bang on the ground or just go find like an empty forest and just yell to get it out and then just cry, 
to allow it to process, you know how much better you're going to feel? Do you know how much more free you're going to feel? And do you know how much more energy you're going to give back to be able to create within your life? That's what I'm transcending right now. I am transcending a lot of fear growing up as a kid. You know, stuff was very scarce here through just the life that we were living and it was what it was. It shaped me to be this, you know, amazing little person that I am right now. <laughs> as awesome as I could be, I guess, sharing my story to help serve you. If I didn't go through all the bullshit that I went through, I would not be able to be here right now having this conversation with you. And maybe the ripple effect of being able to shine a light on a blind spot that you might have. And as I keep having these panic moments of, oh my god, at one point I ran out of money trying to save my horse's life and ultimately had to put him down. I've been working a lot on being able to allow that part of me to still be there, shine that light on it, forgive it and love it because that version of Sarah tried everything she could to save Braveheart. And, you know, while it sucked in the moment, it was really hard. I made it through. I'm still here five years later. And I have a really awesome horse named Abigail that I love very, very much. Seeing shining lights on that things are going to pop up. I had a memory pop up yesterday when I was having a conversation with my friend about being out on the playground. I remember when I was in fifth grade, I pushed a kid into a puddle because he was annoying and everybody didn't like him. And I remember getting yelled at by the person on the playground, but then like not really getting into trouble. And then the teacher who also kind of found the kid kind of annoying, um, used me as a threat. <laughs> and he was just like, you know, if you don't knock it off, I'm going to have Sarah push you into another puddle. And I had completely like blocked that out of my brain and forgot about it. And me as a 30 year old, I feel really bad about that. I feel really, really bad about that. And, you know, instead of getting upset and beating myself up over for it, I was what? Like nine 10, if that. <laughs> I didn't know any better. I was operating from the brain of, of a small child, an angry small child, but a small child. And I saw her, I said, hey, probably wasn't the best choice. However, you know, I asked for forgiveness and I forgive myself. Just let it go. And stop beating myself up over it, for it. <laughs> so friend, this is gonna be a hard question. What is something within you that you refuse to look at, that you don't want to see, that you're holding resentment for, that you can't hold space for? That's just, you know, it's causing you a lot of pain and anxiety. And if somebody is sending you a text message or calling you, you're thinking that they're going to find out about you and like, you know, call you out on such and such thing. What if, what if you were able to give yourself permission to free yourself from whatever it is that you were going through? What if you can allow it to be there in your body? You could just allow it. You can see it, you know. And can you ask yourself, are you able to let it go? Can I let this go? And if you're able, if you say yes, I would like to let this go. Ask yourself, when? When can you let this go? That's from the Sedona Method, by the way. Really great book. <laughs> and just watch as you keep doing it. You, it might take you a couple of times. I keep doing that every time I get scared about money. I'm like, holy shit, here we go. I taught myself two things. In this moment right now, I have everything I need. And it's been working out really cool. I'm not trying to get anything when I say that. But I'm watching my life start shifting because I'm literally being supported. Because in this moment right now, I have everything I need. Literally things are working out in the most amazing way possible. I'm not doing anything. I'm just showing up and living. And the second thing I say is, I see XYZ emotion in my body. I allow it to be there. I would like to let it go. And I'd like to let it go now. And I just keep saying that until eventually my brain deviates and goes someplace else. Because, you know, <laughs> it's a floater. It likes to float everywhere. <laughs> so friend, I hope this video served you. And I hope this video gave you permission to heal yourself. Well, obviously there's a time and a place for medicine being healed. Seeking forgiveness from other people. I really feel most times when we feel that relieved feeling, it's because we finally gave ourselves permission to forgive ourselves. And we really didn't need the other person to say, I forgive you. Chew on that for a little bit. This was a different one, and I hope it made you think a little bit. Friend, I would love to know your thoughts on this video. If this made you think a little bit, I would love to know.
please leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. If you would not mind hitting that subscribe button, it helps to support this channel and helps to get other friends here. Let's grow this community. You guys are awesome. Let's see what other awesome friends we can, you know, bring here. Thank you guys so much for showing up and for just being you. I seriously can't tell you how much I appreciate every single one of you guys. Remember, you are the most important person in this whole entire universe. And just promise me you'll keep singing. Okay, friend?